blacking the wall out and yeah it's a good job me and Papa actually just did that pretty late now it's about half six but yeah the wall's blacked out so it's the different wall from obviously the one that I just showed just then um, but yeah so this is the, the new wall nice and smooth um, so this is going to be the main piece that I'm going to do and I'm going to start tomorrow ghost lines tomorrow so yeah get early night tonight so tomorrow I can get a ghost lines in and hopefully get some colour in yeah but really pleased with that wall nice location as well really nice and visible so yeah <laughs> just completed the ghost lines um, it's about one o'clock um, so maybe two and a half hours to do the ghost lines really good progress uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with this actually it's like uh, always difficult on scaffold to try and get the straight vertical lines and trying to get it all blending between the, the different tiers of the scaffold um, but I think uh, breaking it into these kind of sections has kind of worked um, with that. I think that's, that's looking good. I've just, uh, I have just haven't stepped back much. I've just, just come down from the top, top of the scaffold. And um, yeah, I think that all looks pretty in proportion. Quite happy with that. So I think I'm going to take a bit of a break and then I'm going to have some lunch and smash some colour in this afternoon. So I start filling, um, yeah, the kind of building the colours up and stuff and then tomorrow, at the end of the day today, I can get a, uh, a strong kind of base colour in. Then I think, yeah, tomorrow I start picking, picking bits out and start playing with the light. Yeah, and having some fun with it. So, really cool. Happy, really happy with it. So I've just finished day one painting and uh, managed good progress. Um, ghost lines this morning until kind of lunchtime and then managed to put in some colour but it's got dark really quickly and uh, I haven't quite pushed it as far as I wanted to to be honest. I wanted to put a lot more colour in but up and down scaffold three levels is a real pain, it really slows me down. So uh, if I had a lift I probably would have done that like half the colouring by now I think but um, yeah it's okay I mean we you know I've got three days left um, possibly was going to do another mural but I don't think that's going to be realistic so focus on this one get this one done but um, I'm absolutely exhausted so it's been a long day but um, yeah I think progress isn't bad I think it's okay um, even though I probably don't seem that happy <laughs> it's because I'm tired but, um, yeah so uh, 
early night, I think, and then see everyone at the walk tomorrow. This is day two. As you can see, I've got my rain jacket on because it has been raining a lot. So, uh, yeah, not ideal. Not ideal for painting murals at all. So, yeah, hopefully, next couple of days, weather looks shocking. Uh, and then I'm flying back out. So, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, yeah, really don't know what's going to happen. I'm just going to have to try and paint in between showers and uh, hopefully there'll be enough time to finish it. I mean, I really do need two solid days. So I've got Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So technically, if I could fit in two solid days within those three days, that would be fine. So no chance of doing the second wall. It's just not going to be time. So yeah, I mean, it's not that cold. So. Maybe if it stops raining, it might dry out. And I'm hoping that when I get to the wall, it won't have been hitting the wall surface. The rain might have missed it, and then it'll be dry. So, yeah. Yeah, it's the fun of outdoor painting, isn't it? So, okay, so I'll see everyone at the wall. So I've just got to the wall. Uh, and luckily it looks like the rain hasn't been actually hitting the surface of the wall so it looks dry so I'm hoping the scaffold's actually going to shield it from any rain um, but yeah there's a lot to do so I'm going to get cracking into this actually so um, yeah I'll update with progress needs to be dry because I really need to get some straight lines on that um, so yeah but um, yeah it's Cyprus and it's Ionata oh it's <laughs> rain so um, brilliant basically you know uh, then again if it was boiling hot sun uh, that wouldn't be so good so a little bit in between would be quite nice though eh? a bit sunny a bit warm but um, it's coming together now um, I'm quite happy with it. I think there's some bits on it that are really, really nice. Um, it needs tightening up because um, I'm having to kind of work quite quickly. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it. Yeah, so I will continue painting and then I'll film some more progress. But yeah, hopefully the rain's going to stop. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. 